Now, imagine being stuck in a tiny tinny with one of the world's most dangerous snakes. That is exactly what happened to a fisherman in eastern Victoria. Bob Thatcher was a long way from shore when he realised there was a serious problem sitting between him and the anchor. A tiger snake had slithered into his fishing boat, leaving him with no way out. Joining us now are Bob Thatcher and Baden Neal. Morning to you guys. This is possibly one of the scariest encounters morning, we've ever morning. heard of. Bob, tell us that moment that you saw that snake. Well, it was only about 30 centimetres from my feet. Oh. And uh, really the heart rate went up like mad. <laughs> and I thought, well, how, what am I going to do to get away from this thing? I, so I finished up just standing still and looking at it and it just laid on the floor of the boat looking at me and flicking its tongue and oh. this went on for two or three minutes and then it decided it would it would but it double back on itself and go down i had some tackle along the left left hand side of the boat so it slithered in amongst the tackle and some gear down the left hand side of the boat and then uh, slithered around on the tackle for a little while um, it started to try and go across onto the right hand side of the boat where i didn't want it to go because i wouldn't be able to see what it was doing or where it was going. So that was when I threw the jumper at it. Right. And that uh, turned it on a little bit. It jumped around a little bit and, and went back into its, uh, onto the left-hand side of the boat in amongst the oh. tackle. So oh, God. I was able to get up and pull the anchor up, um, get back to my seat, start the motor, and I thought, well, the only thing I can do is head back to the ramp because there's no sense getting off the boat onto yeah. the shore. I was only 100 yards off the shore, so there's no sense getting off the boat because I still had the snake in the boat and I still needed to get back to the ramp. So yeah. I started heading back to the ramp and then I thought, well, I better make some phone calls and see what <laughs> I can organise. So I rang my wife and got no answer. I rang Dean, my other son, and got no answer there. And I rang my other son and he was driving a school bus. So that sort of put the answer to that. So eventually the, uh, my son that didn't answer, he rang me back and said, what's going on? I've got all these missed calls. And I told him what had happened and I said, could you see if you can get hold of a, um, a snake catcher and meet me at the ramp down yeah. on the end of the Latrobe River. So I opened up the boat a little bit and 10 minutes later, Dean rang me back again and said, yes, I've got a snake catcher and he's on his way down to yeah. meet you at the boat and, ramp. So, and that was um, you. He'll be, the, he'll be there in about 20 minutes. Yeah. And that was you, Baden. Uh, have you ever come across a job like yep. this yeah, and before? that's Baden. Nah, this was, yeah, one of the more um, interesting ones I've had um, had to date. So yeah, no, it was completely different to what I'd normally um, be called to. <laughs> oh, we, we've got the footage there of you catching. I do, do not know how you guys do this. And Bob, you are very lucky. I don't know whether I would have just dived overboard. Thank you very much for sharing your story. It's one of the most unusual ones. Good on you guys. Well done. Have a good day. Yeah. No worries.